guys, I am going to show you how to make foie gras au torchon, mi cuit, semi-cooked. Foie gras is a popular and well-known delicacy in French cuisine. Its flavor is rich, buttery, and delicate. French law states that foie gras belongs to the protected cultural and gastronomical heritage of France. Let's point this out. I know that gavage-based foie gras production is controversial due to the force-feeding procedure, but the good news is that more and more farmers now offer a more ethical, natural feeding techniques rather than force-feeding, and it is said that foie gras from naturally fed animals exquisite and as good as the traditional one. Foie gras does not have nerves, by the way, but rather veins. When you are cleaning it, don't be afraid. You are going to make a mistake because you can always put it back together. Fair enough. I am going to show you an easy way to remove the veins. First step, it is crucial to temper the foie gras before cleaning. Soak it in salted water or milk for at least two hours. Carefully remove foie gras from the water and drain over paper towels. In the meantime, and for the marinade, spread half of the seasoning over two large layers of plastic wrap. Pull apart the two lobes, start by butterflying the large one. Then slice through the lobe to the vein, following its path and pulling foie gras apart. You will notice the vein clearly. Make a surface cut at each side of the vein to butterfly the lobe and scrape far enough to open the folds and expose the network of the veins, leaving the outer skin of the foie gras intact. Now you can see the veins, they are clearly exposed. First, pull out the smaller network of veins, just located right above the thickest veins, using the tip of your knife and fingertips. Then continue down where all the veins are thickest and pull them out carefully. Try to remove as much of the vein network in one piece as possible. There are those smaller veins throughout the liver that should be removed as well. The more refined the finished product will be. It does not matter, by the way, how much you cut and scrape the inside, you'll be able to reform the lobe. So once cleaned, fold over the sides to return to its original shape and transfer the foie gras along with what you have removed from scraping over the seasoned layers of plastic wrap. For the small lobe now, remove any membranes from the outside of the foie gras first and repeat the same procedure by following the line of the primary vein. Make a slit with your knife, holding your knife at a 45 degree angle and butterfly the lobe with your fingers and knife, pulling the lobe open. The vein now should show up. As with the large lobe, scrape and remove any veins and form it back to its original shape. Then arrange the small lobe of foie gras with its big brother. Pass all veins through a fine mesh sieve and add the other half of the marinade. Salt, pink salt, sugar and pepper. And drizzle the armagnac all over the foie gras. The pink salt, or curing salt by the way, prevents liver from turning brown, but if you don't have any, skip it. Roll firmly foie gras into a nice log and refrigerate for 12 hours. The day after, line two large pieces of cheesecloth or use a large white torchon a fragrance-free kitchen towel on your work surface 
un rap de foie gras, discard de plastic wrap and placing it along a short end of the cheese cloth, rolling it away from you, rolling it up in a cheese cloth into a tight cylinder, twisting and pressing one end first as you roll to force the foie gras into a compact log. Hold one end of the cheese cloth tightly and wind the string around the end and tie a knot. Continue rolling the log from the other side to compress into a very tight log until you see bits of foie gras being forced through the cheesecloth. Don't be afraid, tie it up again and over again. Look at these beautiful logs, ready to be poached? Not quite yet. Refrigerate the log 12 hours more before poaching them. Doing so, they will keep their shape intact and less fat will be wasted. Poach foie gras for 90 seconds and transfer immediately the torsion to an ice water bath to cool. Once chilled and hard enough, remove from ice water twisting the ends of the cheesecloth. Hang the foie gras from a shelf in the refrigerator overnight or on a baking tray lined with sheets of paper towels. And of course, you can use plastic wrap rather than cheesecloth. The foie gras will be then lightly coated with its own fat. To get this complete recipe with instructions and measurements, go to brunoskitchen.net. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful foie gras episode. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Ciao, ciao.